Hello, this is Jason, and I'm going to make a short little video about Amazon Prime. I've been a member of Amazon Prime for over a decade. Um, gosh, way over a decade. And I love Amazon Prime. There are so many good features to Amazon Prime. Um, I use it basically every single day. I'm also a seller on Amazon, and uh, we sell a lot of our merchandise on Amazon. You know, I buy stuff all the time. Like earlier this week, I got a, this cool little puzzle. We can show you about that later. I buy, um, you know, pretty much everything that you can think of that you need is cheaper on Amazon. Um, you know, I buy, like I bought my wife a new phone from T-Mobile. Um, that phone would have been cheaper on Amazon, but I was able to make payments on T-Mobile. And I went, went to T-Mobile to buy her case for her phone and it was like $45. Who wants to pay $45 for a case? They had a better one on Amazon for seven bucks and it had next day delivery for free. You know, you can't beat that. Anyway, let me do a quick little overview. Prime is awesome. There are lots of features. The main thing that people think about Prime is right here, free and fast delivery. If you want to do something right away, they have something called Prime Now. Prime Now lets you ship food, but it lets you ship a lot more stuff. Um, you can send yourself, like if you forget your cables when you're traveling or your uh, just the basic stuff that you need to brush your teeth and um, all like toothpaste and maybe hair gel or whatever when you're traveling, you can go on Amazon Prime Now in most major cities and order something to be delivered in one to two hours. When we were in Manhattan, food was incredibly expensive, uh, even though there was a Whole Foods nearby, but we just simply logged on to Amazon Prime Now on my cell phone, ordered a few um, things of food, and it was not much more expensive than here in Phoenix, and we were able to get it delivered right to our hotel, and I think I spent 50 bucks, and we saved hundreds on because we had that food now we were able to do breakfast and lunch um in our hotel room before we even went out and we had a great dinner always somewhere at some nice restaurant in manhattan but that was a really good savings i've also done the same thing in vegas where i've ordered um, some snacks and some other amenities mostly because i forgot a a cell phone charging cable and I needed that and I figured hey while I'm at it might as well order some food and some other things and they delivered it right to my hotel in Vegas but the main thing I use Prime now for is to send items straight to me um, when I need them um, a lot of times for customers for example if a customer really needs something that we don't have in stock there's a decent chance that Prime now has it usually you know a little bit more than the average Amazon price but still with enough margin that it's worthwhile to fulfill that order for that customer. Another, um, everybody already knows about the, the two day shipping and what people don't realize is most of the items are gonna be going to next day shipping. In fact, half the items I'm ordering from Amazon now, as long as I place the order before four or five in the evening, I get it the very next day for free. That's awesome. Um, but the other, really really awesome thing that I love is called Amazon Prime Video and Prime Video it you know looks a lot like Netflix because it operates a lot like Netflix you you get about as many movies as Netflix offers you um, the quality of streaming is better than Netflix or at least the same I don't know if you know but all of Netflix content is actually hosted on Amazon servers Netflix doesn't have their own servers. It's all on um, Amazon Web Services. So obviously what you're going to be getting here on Prime is the same as what you're going to get on Amazon on, that you would get on Netflix. Anyway, I also wanted to, I'm also going to put all these links in the uh, description down below. But they also have a Prime student membership. And what this is, you get six months, six months free trial. At the end of six months free trial, they will sign, they will, if you don't cancel it, you'll automatically sign up for Prime at half the going rate. 
So instead of paying $120 a year, you're only going to be paying $60 a year. That is an awesome deal. With the Student Prime, you get every single benefit of regular Prime, plus you actually get some special coupons just for Prime people. There's another thing that most people don't know about called Amazon Family. And Amazon Family is actually free for anybody who has Prime. It's just an extra little thing saying, hey, I got kids, please send me additional coupons for my kids. Right away you get 20% off of all the diapers and baby food that you ever order on Amazon Prime. Their prices are probably a little bit more than if you go to Target or Walmart anyway, so that 20% gets you right down to the, about the same price it would be if you were buying them at, at Target or Walmart or wherever you buy your diapers. Um, I don't have to buy diapers anymore. Our kids are a little bit older. But on top of that, you get a 15% discount on baby registry. Um, you also get a lot of interesting deals for um, various things for your family. You also get the ability with any Prime membership to share it with your family members. I don't know if I'd really want to be sharing my Prime membership with my kids, um, but what's nice about it is you can actually share your Prime account in such a way where they can add things to the cart, but they're not allowed to actually check out. And what that lets me do is they can add whatever they want to their cart and it will notify me that they've added it to their cart and then I get to decide if I want to place that order and of course I can move it over to my cart and boom check out and get that item. <clears throat> Another really really good thing for kids is called Free Time Unlimited and this um, I, there's a link in the description that you can go straight to this page and get the special deal. They're doing a one month free trial and that is um, with Prime. Um, you can get it without Prime but I think you have to pay for a whole year up front and I don't think you get the one month free trial. Um, but it's only three bucks, two dollars and ninety nine cents. And what this is, is it, is it, it's a suite of apps, a suite of videos, a whole bunch of excellent kid content, and it's cur curated for whatever age group that your kid might possibly be in. So you have a group from three years old to six years old. And if you put it on your Kindle or your Android or your iPhone or even on a computer, it has ways to completely lock it out so your kid can't exit. It also has ways where you decide how many hours of video they can watch, how many hours they can read books, etc. There's thousands and thousands of free um, ebooks and hundreds and hundreds of free audiobooks that you get when you subscribe to uh, Free Time Unlimited. It's actually a really cool service for only three bucks. And of, of course, you know, click the link. Next, we have. Prime Pantry. Now this is a new thing that they basically did. <clears throat> when you're on Prime now, you have to order $35 worth of stuff in order for the shipping to be free. What Prime Pantry does is it lowers that amount to simply $10. Now all you have to do is order $10 of anything from Prime, um, P Prime Now, or you can order food items that aren't in your local city for anybody nationwide um, from P Prime Pantry and all of those items will now be free. I mean, imagine you can order a 24 pack of soda and it's gonna ship to you for free. Um, you know, and the prices, I found that they do have really good sales and those sales become very competitive to the prices of sales at Walmart or Target or you know, your local grocery store. When things are not on sale, you know, it's kind of like, also like your local grocery store where, you know, a 12 pack of soda at most grocery stores is about five bucks. And that's about what it is um, here on Prime Pantry. I don't know, I'm not logged in, yeah. So $4.88 for a 12 pack of Coke, a $4.68 12 pack of Sprite. You know, so the prices are very, very competitive to the normal prices that you see when you're at uh, grocery stores. But I've seen like when a new Coke flavor comes out, They've, off, they've pushed me a deal where I can pick up that item for 99 cents for a 12 pack. And that's a good deal. So if you also are interested, they have something called Amazon Business. You can create a free account. This will not include free shipping. Or you can get Business Prime. It costs $179 a year for Business Prime right here. And that lets you get three users. Now on top of this, you can... 
just kind of like with you with your kid account you can have employees who say hey I need this item I need this office supply I need this tool I need whatever it is and it would go into a cart for you to review and if you say yes you're allowed to have that item you can click that button check out it gets straight to them you can sign up for Amazon business without having to pay um, for Amazon Prime but then you don't get all those extra benefits of it there's also um, when you sign up with Amazon Prime, you automatically get uh, at least a, a, an application for their Amazon corporate credit card. You also get the ability to decide which items that are you are doing for resale. So like for example, whenever I buy computer items, because I use Amazon Business, I can I get all the computer classified items tax exempt because I'm gonna be reselling those and paying sales tax to the state directly. So that's just another little program that they have. Another program that's um, surprisingly controversial, <laughs> I, didn't, I posted it the other day on, on Facebook and a lot of people were griping about it, but they, Amazon also, you know, because they're such a big company, they want to give back to society. So they have $6 a month Prime memberships for people that are on government assistance. So if you're on food stamps or um, got what Medicaid or I guess, yeah, Medicaid or EBT or anything like that, um, you can basically sign up. I, I've never done this. I don't know what you have to do to confirm you're eligible. Um, I'm guessing you would have to upload some sort of form, but yeah, if you wanted to sign up for that anyway, I know a lot of these things are really hard to find on the Amazon website. So every single page that I just showed you here will have a link in the description. I'm going to try to get the, the links to basically be in the order I presented them. So if you want to do any of these things, just simply click and that'll be excellent. You have a good day, and this is my video blog, um, episode four. And I'm not going to edit this. I did it in one shot, and it's good enough. Thanks.